When we think about rhythm and repetition as design elements, we're thinking about repeated lines, shapes, or patterns in an image. They can create unity within the artwork through the repetition. They can also give the viewer a sense of a mood in your image. I'm going to show you one way that you can manipulate an image that does not have rhythm or repetition in a way that it will. I'm going to use this image over here. It's a headshot that I took of my cousin Lee and I opened it and I just started making layers and changing it up. I really had no set purpose so I've grouped all of my edits in this group one and so if I turn this on you'll get to see the finished product but I think it would be better if I just turn those layers on step by step and you can see what I did. To begin with I really am a fan of structure and organization so I pulled out of my ruler some guidelines and I set them on the inch mark so oh, now they're showing again. So one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch and so on so that as I was arranging my new layers I could snap them to these um, grid lines and make everything nice and even. But I think at the end these become a distraction so you can go to view, show, grid and guides and turn those off so we don't see them right now. So if I click this little arrow here I'm going to expand my group one so you can see what's in there. And there's a ton of layers and I'm just going to start adding them in one by one showing you my thought process. Some of these might be interesting to you and others might be something that you're not really interested in and you can skip over those. So the first thing I did was I started duplicating my layer. So if I turn this one on it looks identical. So that's the full size background image. And then with those grid lines on I kept duplicating and shrinking. So my layer one here is a duplicate but shrunk down and I used the guidelines to make sure that it lined up perfectly. So then my layer one copy is a smaller version and layer one copy two. And you could continue, I think actually now that I'm looking at it I might, I wish I had gone in and just gone all the way till it's like a tiny pinpoint in the middle but I stopped, I think that's my last one. So already I've created the rhythm um, or the repetition of the rectangular shape and her portrait and it's either expanding outward or it's contracting inward but I felt like that wasn't enough so the next thing I did was I decided that I wanted to have the rhythm of the image changing from either vibrant colors to black and white or vice versa so I went in and I put a hue and saturation layer on the background to make it more saturated and then every other layer I started adding black and white layers set to um, lower and lower opacity. So now my layer 2 has a black and white layer set to 25%. So it's sort of black and white. Then I added a black and white layer to my third layer set to 46 or around 50%. So it's half desaturated. If I continue up I added a black and white layer to this layer right here at what was it? 75%. And then finally my top image when I add my black and white layer it was on 100% so that center image is 100% black and white. So now I have the rhythm of the desaturation as I have the movement moving into the middle of the image. So you could stop there. Another option that I decided to do was I wanted um, there to be more definition around these edges so I added a stroke. So if you go to your layer 1 I added an effect down here in the FX panel and I chose stroke and I had it set to black and kind of a skinny line. So if I turn that on, now each of these layers has a black border around it. So that could be something that you could utilize. And you can right click, once you make one of these to make them all match, you can right click copy layer style and then paste it onto each subsequent layer. So if I turn these all on, now I have the stroke around each layer so again creating more repetition and also highlighting these edges so that may or may not be something that you'd like to try. So another thing that I tried was I wanted to go from dark to light that's another way that we can transition or create the movement the the rhythm in the picture so I went in and I added exposure layers which are all turned on right now and in the exposure layer I adjusted either the exposure or the offset 
to darken the lower pictures and gradually as I got to the top I started actually brightening them. So somewhere in here, probably this image, is the is zero on the exposure or offset. I didn't change it at all and then I started getting brighter and brighter. So that's another option that you could try out. If I add in my levels layers that just adds a little bit of um, some contrast to all these images. Okay, so you could try any number of those, maybe all of them together, or maybe you just like one of the ideas. The other thing I want to try right now is what would happen if I started spiraling these. So not just creating the linear, like straight into the picture kind of repetition and movement, but also what if it's a spiral motion? Not required, but let's see what it would look like. So on this one, I'm actually going to start on the top. I'm going to do a control T to rotate that image, and I'm going to decide on a an angle of rotation. It's going to rotate around a center point. I think I'm going to use, let's see, let's try 10, 10 degrees, check it. And then I can keep going down and rotating these maybe less and less. So maybe the first picture is going to be straight up and down and they're gradually going to be rotating. Let's see what this would look like. So this is my next bigger layer. I did a control T. If I rotate it 10 degrees, what will happen? So it looks like it's lined up with the other one. So that doesn't really make sense. So maybe I want it to be like 8. So it's slightly less rotated. Control T on the next bigger layer. So if I'm going to keep going down by increments of 2, I'm going to go 6. I can kind of tell already that this is going to require either more degrees of angle or more layers to actually give some sort of effect. So the last one was six, so this should be four. And finally, I could rotate this. It'll end up cropping it a little bit, but if I control T on my very background image, there's a two degree rotation. All right, so looking at those, I don't really think it's that impressive. I could um, rotate them more, maybe. I can rotate them by like freehand. I can just grab a corner here and rotate it however I want, if that's easier um, for you in your editing to just freehand it. I think, again, that if I'm going to go this route, I would need lots more layers to kind of fill in these blanks, because I actually feel like this broke up the rhythm, and I'm not sure that I'm a fan of that. So just wanted to give you some ideas on creating rhythm and repetition in your image. You can totally do a photo that you find rhythm or repetition in the world and just a straight photograph. But this might be a good opportunity to try out something new in Photoshop. And it also could be a good opportunity to use any kind of photo and edit it into um, having rhythm or movement or repetition in the image.